Personally, I don't think Reason has been getting any real good push from his label. I don't really see what Top Dog sees in this. This was the first time I've seen like real TDE pushback. I had a release party, nobody showed up from the label. Back in the early 2010s, Top Dog Entertainment was dominating hip hop. Somehow, this small homegrown label from Carson, California managed to guide artists who were absolute nobodies to performing in venues like this. <laughs> However, the label has been under fire in recent years. Many claim that they have fallen off, hate their fans, and or simply do not treat their artists with respect. A ton of events caused this shift to happen, but it all began with the addition of one specific rapper to the roster, and that rapper is Reason. Hi. I'm Luesta. I make weekly video documentaries of things I'm into, so subscribe if you enjoy. Today we're going to discuss an artist by the name of Reason and the drama he's caused for one of hip hop's most prolific labels. To understand that, we have to first discuss why TDE was so loved in the first place and the dramatic shift that caused the label's disaster. Whether it's the insane, heartfelt story of Kendrick Lamar's come up from the treacherous city of Compton, California. The genius behind Absol's lyrical content. I'm the bomb. That's like C4 on the C floor. Uh. Fuck with AB, you can see more. As soon as I touch this money, I'm a hack Eeyore. Or the southern groove of Isaiah Rashad. One thing that's certain is that Top Dog Entertainment was a label that had something for everyone. Despite the fact that each artist brought something different to the table and clearly shared a familial bond that seemed like it could never be broken. School YQ, he gon' eat. Kendrick Lamar, he gon' eat. TDE, eat. However, these days, TDE is only a shell of what it used to be. For example, between 2016 and 2017, they released nine high quality projects in the span of just 15 months, all of which performed extremely well. However, ever since then, they dropped about 10 projects in total, most of which were deemed some of the worst releases in terms of how the album sold. Yo, where is the music? Can we get a single? Can we get anything? In a Reddit post discussing TDE's fall off in March 2022, one user wrote, TDE has officially died for me. I used to be a TDE stan, but one can only starve so much before they find a different food source. This statement was backed by another comment reading, Kendrick hasn't dropped in five years. Absol hasn't put out an album in six years. J-Rock hasn't dropped in four years. Schoolboy Q hasn't dropped in three years. What the f is going on over there? Not only has the lack of output been an obvious problem from the label over the last few years, but TDE TDE has been doing a terrible job at the one thing they were idolized for doing, which is onboarding new talent. At first, the label CEO Anthony Topdog Tiffith, along with the president's punch in Day Free, not only had an amazing ear for finding talent, but they were also able to provide a specific type of guidance and mentorship that was needed for an artist who had little to no fan base at all to exploding them into superstardom. This is a skill that some of the biggest labels in the world would dream of having, especially after it was recently reported that record labels are having a difficult time breaking new artists. Nobody knows how to break music right now, a senior executive said. I think they're all lost. Sadly, as time passed on, TDE couldn't escape this trend either. Their new artists just couldn't shine as brightly as the superstars they once brought on board. However, can one make the claim that it's TDE's fault for this happening? Let's take a deeper look. In 2018, it was revealed that TDE introduced another new rapper to their roster by the name of Reason, and it ended up being a complete disaster. He was discovered by Top Dog's son Musa and introduced him to Top after attending Reason's local concert. Now, it seems like Musa orchestrated both the beginning and the end for Reason, and you'll see why later in this video. After only one year of signing, reports surfaced claiming that the label's former president, Dave Free, didn't want to sign him in the first place. Despite this, a lot of fans were still extremely excited to hear Reason's new music, and they started out on a good run, rolling out songs like The Soul. Don't ever think they love you, that's some great advice. So if you ain't used to pay attention, gotta pay the price. So just a year ago, I was hating life. And Better Days that also went crazy. Cause clown Drake for being so sentimental. They see the same 
over every instrumental. Then following this up with his debut project, There You Have It, which also did really well. To put it simply, the fans in TDE were rocking with reason at first. But the more that time passed, he just became a huge subject of controversy. While everyone can agree that he was a rapper with massive potential, problems began to emerge when fans began to realize that he just wasn't that good, at least when you compared him to the artist they signed before. Reason is a decent MC, one of the most average albums I've heard in a long time. Reason left me a little bored here. To cut Reason some slack, this was the first rapper they signed since Isaiah Rashad back in 2013, setting a pretty high standard for the aspiring 28-year-old rapper at the time. Being that it was rare that any rapper would ever be introduced to their roster, it was definitely going to take some time for fans to be accustomed with Reason's presence on TDE, as well as any new artist they onboarded in general. Of course, there was a core audience who was interested in his music, but it was clear that he wasn't receiving the type of hype as his contemporaries once had. Reason described his experience of being onboarded as feeling like an adopted child coming into a big, big family. And like the saying goes, it's best to not mix family with business, as things seemingly only continued to get worse as the years went by. And Reason had trouble proving the fans that he deserved a spot on the team. But is Reason really that bad of an artist? Or has TDE been doing a poor job at promoting him? I had a release party. Um, nobody showed up from the label. Like, for me, it was Wait, love. Yeah, the release party you just had? Yeah, the one I had one on Thursday. And nobody from the label showed up? My bad, Ray Vaughn showed up. He's the only person from TD that showed up. He's the only person from TD that showed up. After five years of being signed to the label, Reason dropped a few more projects that left a lot of TDE fans feeling empty. Like I said before, there's always going to be some kind of core audience that actually fucks with the music. But there is a whole host of negative feedback to counter it. Take the album New Beginnings that dropped in 2020, for example. It received a 3 out of 10 from Anthony Fantano, who claimed that he didn't have any idea why Reason appealed to Top Dog. I don't really see what Top Dog sees in this. For one, there's virtually nothing about Reason's voice, his flow, or his lyrical style that I could describe in detail positively or negatively, outside of maybe noting that some of his performances on this thing come off nearly emotionless, maybe a little monotone. The video for the review received a 90% like to dislike ratio, showing there was a bit of truth when it came to his statements, despite the fact it was just his opinion. Furthermore, Reddit posts discussing Reason's placement on TDE were brutally honest. This man is literally the most non-descriptive person I have ever heard in my life. Reason isn't unique in any way. He's really meh. Not bad, not great, just meh. With their latest artists getting this type of reception, more TDE artists complaining about their label, and news breaking that TDE's biggest star and president were going their separate ways, it just seemed like an extremely bad look for TDE, and that something deeper was going on behind the scenes, although it's mostly all just speculation. However, if we fast forward to August of 2023, we have more evidence that the family bond between the artist and the label has completely disappeared. And honestly, it it may not necessarily be the artist's fault. When Reason was gearing up to drop his newest album titled Porches in August 2023, it caused a storm on the internet for all the wrong reasons. All puns intended. As you previously saw in the podcast clip I shared earlier with Rory and Maul, he revealed that no one from TDE showed up to the release party for the album. But if you thought that was crazy, you must have not heard what happened during his appearance on another podcast called Back on Fig. As a TDE fan since early 2011, this live stream was absolutely the most wild, unprofessional, and out of pocket moment I have ever seen emerge from the TDE camp. The stream started off with Reason complaining about his label to the TDE affiliate Macwa. First, he explained how the label has been preventing him from releasing music, which is a commonly heard issue from many artists in the TDE circle. Secondly, he would state that he was able to feature big names in the industry on his album, such as ESTG and Lotto. However, TDE did not follow through with the promotion, which is yet another reason Reason was left in the shadows. We had certain features lined up that could have went through. I had Lotto lined up for something not executed, I had ESTG lined up for something not execute. You get what I'm saying? Like, After a so. couple minutes of Reason pointing the finger and taking shots at the label for their wrongdoings, the live stream took a drastic turn. 
During the stream, TDE's co-president Musa joined in to address Reason's concerns directly, as he felt that Reason was falsely accusing TDE. And this is where everything got really crazy. Keep in mind that Musa is actually the person who introduced Reason to Top Dog in the first place, and is ultimately the reason he got signed in 2018. And it seems like Musa replaced Day Free's position at TDE once he left with Kendrick Lamar in 2021 to create PG Lang. However, it appears that Musa may not have been the best choice for this position, as he started off the call with with extremely bad people skills, especially for someone who is deemed as the co-president for one of the greatest labels in hip hop. As soon as Musa joined the call, he asked the host, T-Rell and MacWop to name 10 Reason songs and the conversation quickly became awkward. Hey T-Rell, can you name me 10 Reason songs right now? You from LA, you a LA native. Can you name me 10 Reason songs right now? No. Why is that? I have Man, no fucking. Mac. Man, hold on, hold on. When T Rail was unable to answer, Musa proceeded to ask MacWop the same question. Mac, from the you from the team, <laughs> Mac. Can you name me Terry? Can you name me Terry Reason songs? Of course. Honestly, name them. Ah, no. <laughs> it was a funny ass name. <laughs> in the footage, Reason is visibly upset. Musa then claimed that TDE's former co-president, Day Free, initially did not want to sign Reason when he joined the label, going as far as calling him a substitute teacher. Hey, Dave, my nigga, Doc, my nigga, I love them niggas. Dave never wanted us to sign, sign Reason. He called him a substitute teacher. Get your shit off, Moose. Doc, Doc always said that, 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 that cool. Reason had talent, but it's going to take more than just talent in this game right now, and everybody know that. Musa also claimed that featuring artists like ESTG would not benefit Reason, since he already collaborated with big artists in the past, such as Schoolboy Q. But even when I hear niggas saying features and, and everything, oh yeah, you could have got an ESTG feature, but what does that do for, for Reason? Like, what is that going to do for Reason? Like, even when you say you can't get in contact with SZA, and all that, like, this, like you didn't have features from everybody, including Q. Just trying to understand it, man. Despite the awkwardness of the conversation, Reason refused to back down and accused Musa of attempting to create a viral moment. You want to have a conversation or you want to go viral? Which one you want to do? Oh. Which one you want to do? Yeah, Let I'm me know. I'm just, I'm just trying let me know, to let me know. You want to have a conversation or you want to go viral? Be consistent. Just be consistent. I'm being, I'm being consistent. I'm being consistent. Huh? I'm being consistent. So I'm asking you, you want to have a conversation or you want to go viral? Which one you want to do? I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to have a conversation. Man. Okay, bet. I don't know what kind of power this man Reason has, but he seemingly had TDE's new president folding up like a laundry mat. But after they agreed to just simply have a conversation, Reason asked Musa some pretty straightforward questions. So tell me one thing I lied about. About as far as what? Tell me one thing I lied about because you felt a way about what I said. So tell me one thing I well, lied I'm about. Saying, uh, you sit in a room with... with with All right, cool. Men. I didn't lie. I didn't lie. Cool. Oh, I didn't so lie. You sit in the room with a man who don't know your music, Rob. You sit in there with T Real. I'm telling you that you can't blame nobody. I, I didn't blame nobody, Moo. I didn't blame nobody. T Real, do it. I did not blame nobody. I did not blame nobody. You blaming the label or no? I said I haven't been consistent enough because I haven't been allowed hey, to drop. Hey, That's hey, a fact. Hey, hey T Real. Well, tell me if I'm lying. Hey, tell me if I'm lying. Just tell me if I'm lying, bro. He, I said he, I have not been consistent enough because I haven't been allowed to drop music. Tell me if I'm yeah, lying. I don't think no, nobody has stopped you. You ain't never came all right, into bet. me. Cool, that's all I want to know. I just want to know. And, 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 you, and nobody said no to you. I just want to know. Never, you dropped the most music out of more than anybody. I didn't, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't never, I didn't never ask you to drop multiple EPs. I didn't play multiple EPs. Like that's what I'm saying. Like if we want to, nah, are we gonna nah. have a conversation? Or are we gonna go viral? Cause we can have a real conversation, Moo. Like everything I've said Man, so far, all love, all love, all love. For the next couple of minutes, the two continued to exchange shots, ultimately reiterating the same comments. However, Reason also accused Musa of being a manipulator and a liar, which is an interesting detail. I love Reason. I think you talented as fuck. But when you get on on air and you start pointing fingers at the I didn't point no shit, fingers, bro. I answer questions. Make or break your career, Shout bro. out to Dolce. I never said she was. Niggas, this nigga's a master manipulator, bro. He's a master manipulator. All I said on this podcast was my only issue is being consistent, and I have not been allowed to be consistent. I played you three to four EPs. I got them in my Dropbox. I can send out the link. All of them that we we hey, planned to shoot videos music, three years ago. Quality, but then music, you can't bro. say quality because the same records on the EP are the ones on the quality album, music, but y'all letting it go now. You can't you can't play the truth game with me, bro. 
You can't play the shrew oh, game with me. I promise you that. Clearly, there's something going on at TDE, and you don't need to be a hip hop head like me to understand that. It's truly sad. Now, Reason did claim that the tensions between him and Musa were settled shortly after the live stream, and that friction like this between them is common. That is a conversation that me and Musa have had. And I will say, like, even worse, like, behind closed doors. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not a secret at between me and Musa or at the label that, like, we want the same thing. We just have two different ideas of the path that we should take to get there. We have the same destination in mind. We just have two different paths in which um, we believe that we should get there. It was just one of those things that it's like it shouldn't have. When I say, like, you want to have a conversation, you want to go viral. In hindsight, I'm so glad he said a conversation. There's so many things that me and him speak about behind closed doors. And at that moment, with that alcohol in me, I would have been on that type of time also. But it did raise a few eyebrows, and fans are genuinely concerned. TDE should be ashamed on how they handled this artist so far. You can tell that he just wants to be heard. That's embarrassing the president of the label conducts himself that way. Shame on the label. I was shaking my head throughout the entire video. What a sharp downfall for TDE. Shout out to Reason for being real, but I want you guys to comment down below who you guys think is at fault. Is it simply TDE not pushing Reason as they used to in the past with former former TDE artists? Or is he just not that good in comparison to former TDE artists? It's your boy Luesta. Make sure you guys subscribe and comment what you want me to talk about next. Till next time, peace.